Hey, welcome back to another video. And today, poof, 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 you might as well call me Connor McGregor because we're going to be talking about how to get people's attention online. Do you like that? <laughs> this is video two of the four part series teaching you the best strategy to get more sales, more followers and more revenue using social media. If you haven't watched video one, I'm going to put it on the screen right here. One of these two corners It's about to pop up. OK, well, make sure you watch video number one. And before we move forward, guys, make sure make sure you hit the subscribe button right over here. It helps me out a lot, guys. The more my videos get recommended, the more people we end up helping. All right, so hit the subscribe button. We're launching new videos every single week and we want to help you grow your business. In the first video, I taught you that the elite sales funnel has three stages right here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top one, attention. Listen, if you can't get people's attention online and you can't sell to them. So that's the first step is we're going to capture people's attention. Every time you start a new business, the most important thing you can do is understanding and defining your ideal customer persona. A lot of people will just call it ICP. And the whole premise behind that is you really need to understand your clients so then you can communicate something that ends up connecting with them. At the end of the day, marketing is a game of perceived value. How can you help your ideal clients increase their perceived value towards you, your product, your brand, or your business? Let me give you the best example to illustrate this. Let's say I build a steakhouse. Now, I need to get attention from people, right? But if I don't know my ideal customer persona, which could be other Brazilians, people who love steakhouses, then it becomes really hard for me to communicate with the right people. Imagine this. I'm trying to advertise my business without knowing my ideal client. And then I start selling to a hundred people and all of these hundred people say, no, you know, if you do something like that, you're going to think that your business is doomed. But later you realize that the hundred people you spoke to were vegans. A vegan will never ever eat at your steakhouse. That's not what it's for. So if you take all of your time and advertise your steakhouse to vegans, you're going to be burning a lot of money and wasting your time. That's why it's super important to define who your ideal customers are, understand what platforms they use so you can reach them later, and then make sure that your message connects with them. Again, if you come up to me and you say, hey, here's a coupon, you can eat all you want at my steakhouse, I'm going to say, yes, sir. Thank you for that. But a vegan is going to look at you and be like, uh-uh. So that's why it's super important for you to understand who your ideal customer is. To do that, understand their demographics. What challenges are they experiencing? What are they struggling with? What keeps them up at night? And if you take on consultations as part of your lead magnet or as a way to get new clients, always ask them, what motivated you to reach out to me today? What are their biggest fears? And most importantly, what are their biggest objections? Once you build out your entire customer persona, now it's time to build out your brand message. And that's the second thing you need to do to make sure you connect and get people's attention using social media. A wise man once told me that in order for people to buy from you, they need to feel understood. And that's why big businesses do so well and get so much money is because their communication is crystal clear. The moment they communicate with their ideal customers, they instantly get the message. It's not foggy, it's not confusing, and you need to make sure that people understand what you're saying. The best way to do that is to do what I like to call speaking in values. Listen, it's a new language you're going to have to learn if you want to connect with people. Marketing lesson 101. People do not care about you or your business. They care about the transformation they receive upon working with you. Speaking in value teaches you that whenever you're communicating with customers, it's always about them. OK, it's never about me, me, me. It's always about you, you, you. All right, quick marketing 101 over. Let's go back to the video. Once you identify your ideal customer and now you understand what kind of message will connect with them, you're ready to start posting on social media. 
Here's the biggest lesson I always tell people about social media. Social media is not the answer. You are not going to become rich just because you're posting on social media. Social media is a tool, a medium, a way for you to get to your answer, for you to become successful. Just because you post on social media, even if it's consistent and every day, that does not mean your business will be successful or you're going to grow your business that way. You need to understand why you're using social media and then how you're going to use social media to grow your business. Don't just start posting random videos just because that's what you heard. Yes, post videos, but make sure you have a plan and we're going to talk about this plan right here. Let's go. The first thing I would say is make sure you understand which platform will connect with your users the most. TikTok is very different than Instagram, which is very different from Facebook, which is very different from LinkedIn, which is also very different from writing blog posts. So once you understand which type of platform your customers are more in tune with, the ones that they go to the most, then start focusing on that one platform, okay? If you are a solo entrepreneur, you're the only person on your business, I will recommend you pick your primary platform for me is Instagram and then pick a secondary platform to continue to build an audience, which for me, it's YouTube. I love YouTube. So pick your platform. And then from there, you need to understand what season your business is in. There are six seasons in your business. You can see them right here. And I can guarantee you, your business will be in one of these six seasons right here. These seasons are what's going to dictate what kind of posts you should be making on social media. And once you understand that, then you can start building your content calendar. So let's go through these seasons real quick. Introduction is when you're new, whenever you start a new business or you already have a business, you're just adding something onto it. Or even if you have a business, but you just never introduced yourself to your audience, you need to go through a week long season of introduction. Introduction is where you're going to introduce yourself, your services, your missions, your values, and everything else that is important to your mission and vision to your customers. This is also where you're going to share your hero story. Let me tell you guys something. Americans love stories. Tell your story. Tell us your zero to hero story and how you came to become a professional or to start your business. People will love it. Bonus points if they can connect to your story. Once you introduce yourself, you need to understand what kind of content delivery is best for your audience. What kind of pain points connect with your audience the most? And then third, what kind of desires are they mostly in tune with? Once you start posting on social media, you don't know if it's gonna be long videos, short videos, reels, carousels, static posts, flyers. You don't know what's gonna connect and deliver best at that point. The activation process is anywhere between two to five or six weeks even, where you're validating the best content delivery, the best way to connect with your customers based on their pain points, and the best way to connect with them based on their desires. Unless you've been 30, 40, 50 years in your industry and you really, really, really know your clients, you don't have to worry about validating the biggest pain point and the biggest desire, but you're still gonna have to validate whatever the best content delivery is. This season is very important because as you start making posts, testing out different pain points, testing out different desires, the ones that perform the most tend to be the ones where you can connect the most with your clients. Clients, okay, so I love to do client research by validating that communication, that brand message. Next is awareness. Once you understand what kind of posts connect the best with your audience, now it's time to make a lot of them. Now just post every day and see what performs the best. When you're ready to make sales, you need to go through a pre-launch series which builds anticipation for your launch. If you have a product right now, you can still go through a launch. It really helps. Once you've built anticipation, you're ready to go into launch. Both of these seasons tend to last anywhere between five to 10 days. Finally, when you launch your product, you need to go into sales. What I recommend is make two sales posts every single week and the rest three to five posts. Make sure they are awareness posts, but tie in your sales pitch at the end. If you start posting a lot of sales content, people are going to start unfollowing you and they won't read your message. Once you understand your client persona and you built a message, you validated your content and you know what season you're in, you gotta start posting some content. But well, let's say is I feel like I sit here on my desk and I don't know what to do. Ideas don't come to me. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, honey boom. 
I got you. I'm about to teach you the very easy process I use for myself and my clients to never run out of content ideas again. This is called the HBC method. Take a piece of paper, write HBC on it. Okay, I do it every time with my content. Maybe Isaac can show you right here an example. If not, that's cool, Isaac. H stands for hook. This is the first three to five seconds of your videos. So make sure that it captivates people's attention right away. If you wanna see a good example, I'm gonna post a video either here or right here for you to see a quick example of that hook. So right next to the big H, I will literally start writing all of my favorite hooks. I usually write four or five, and then as I say it in my head, I say it out loud, I pick my favorite. Next is B. This is the body of your content. This is the next 30 to 40 seconds of your video. This is where the meat and potatoes of your content comes through. This is your main message. Make sure that your information is easily digestible and easy for people to understand. One of my favorite things is I I like to switch angles or do something different with each sentence that I say. I found that doing something like that or doing something silly in the video or changing angles really helps with my retention, meaning more people will stay longer watching the entire video. And then C at the end is your call to action. You don't want people to just watch your video. You want them to do something at the end, whether it is to like, share, or comment on your post, go to your profile and follow, click the link below, comment down below, any of these things may Make sure you end with a call to action. Now, as a quick exercise for you, you can use the HBC method to make content about absolutely everything. You can make content about your dog, you can make content about your food, about your parents, about your partner, about your spouse, about anything and anybody. So I recommend you take, pause the video real quick for 30 seconds and just try to make a hook, a body and a call to action for anything that comes to mind and see how easy it is for you to build content. Before we move on, quick word from our sponsor. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Mateus. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Just go ahead and grab the ebook right here, y'all. Right here. All right, thank you. Every time you make a video, make sure you pre-plan that video and write out the HPC method. With every video that I make, I'm always writing H, B, C, and then I write out the content right next to it because there's nothing worse than recording a video, editing the video, and then you learn Holy cow, this video makes no sense. So the best way to avoid that is scripting your video beforehand. Once you're ready to record your video, you only need three things. You need a camera. If you have a phone, an Android, or an iPhone, that should be more than enough quality for your videos, okay? Make sure it's in 1080p. Second, you need lighting because look how terrible this looks without lighting. You see how much shadow is on my face? If you can't afford a ring lights, the best thing you can do is face a window in your house and just record it when it's sunny. Third, you need crystal clear audio. If you are by yourself at home, then the audio should be fine from your phone. Just make sure you're away from any dogs or any fans, anything that can make noise, and you should be good to go. However, if you're making content in person, in places that are noisy, I will always recommend you getting your own set of microphones just because it allows you to record content anywhere. However, you don't need all of these crazy expensive equipment to get started. Last thing on this video, guys, one of the best ways to cheat the system, maybe, don't use that word, but maybe cheat the system, is running ads. Advertising on Instagram, Meta, and YouTube allows you to reach thousands of people for very little investment. I myself just invested $2 the other day and over 1,500 people saw my content. If you're playing the numbers game, if you're investing $2 to get 1,500 people's attention, they are your ideal client, your brand message is crystal clear, and let's say you convert 0.1% of all of those people. Do the math real quick, guys, they do not expose me. So if you convert 0.01% of that audience, assuming they're the right audience, you should have a client right there for as little as $2 a day. Now, I have a course that teaches you how to do this. I'm gonna leave it linked down below where you can go through the whole funnel and build your own system in less than five days. Guys, now you know how to find your ideal clients, cut through the noise, and write a message that they will understand. Now, it's your time to do it. Go ahead and start making content. Start writing blog posts. I can't wait to see what you're gonna build for your business understanding these strategies. I hope this was helpful. Next video, we're gonna talk about what do you do with that attention? We need to turn that attention into cash. So what do we do? We're gonna find out together on the next video. I will see you guys there. Peace.